product that she got. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. You all guys already know enocouture.com. Best nar products made in America. And I'm using a little bit of force, not that much. And I almost push up to make sure I expose as much of the nail bed as possible. So that way the one, two, three, go nail is as close to the nail as possible and really, really snatched. Buenas tardes, hola. Let the machine. Yeah, it is very gentle. We let the machine do the work for you. Oh, it's morning in New Zealand. So ah, kia ora. Good morning from New Zealand. Kia ora. Jessica says, how are you, Max? I'm great. How about yourself? And you know, you want to hear something funny about this hoodie, Barbara? What? It's actually the second one I bought. No way. Why? Because the first one, I couldn't find it anymore. I got it and I was showing it to my mom and Jasmine mm -hmm. liked it too. She thought it was like a blanket or something. Mm -hmm. Jasmine's my three-year-old niece or four. Mm -hmm. And, um... When I wanted to wear it, I couldn't find it anymore. Oh, so maybe she has it and she snuggled up with it. With a hoodie? Yeah, but it's so soft. It though, really man. is. It, it reminds you of a comfort blanket. So I had to buy me another one. Uh, Shinoi wants to know how's your dad doing. He's doing okay. Thank you for asking. Very nice. He hopefully will be getting more speech therapy because that's what he needs the most. Mm -hmm. Oh, Marlene from Denmark is watching. Thank you. Oh, Jessica says she's doing good, just getting over the flu. Oh, not COVID, right? I hope not. But I hope you're okay, no matter what. Oh, Sonia from Holland. Just ah, Holland. from the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. So I already know Barbara's sizes. It is nine, six, five, six, one. It's like a phone number, isn't it? Mm-hmm. We're gonna get our flashy ready. Meow. And clear press on gel. Really? And we're gonna do our express technique. So press on gel halfway on the nail bed in the contact area. Now do you press this all the way out to the end of the nail? Almost, but not quite. You no, leave you leave like a millimeter of space. So that way when you blend it out with the machine, the machine has room to get in there and create uh, a seamless finish. Oh, okay. Because mm -hmm. if it's too close, you won't be able to go in and blend it out really well. Okay. Uh, Shinoi says, uh, oh, Shinoi says, you always say my name right, Max. Barbara, I love it. Let Max know my name isn't Tony. Chani, it's Chinoy. That's a cool name though, isn't it? <laughs> Chani Lane. Chinoy Lane. Where is that name from? That's a very unique name, isn't it? It is beautiful. It's a last name Jones. It's a yellow. Ooh, Dublin. We have Lorraine from Dublin. Hi from Dublin. Have you got a cuticle bit? where you don't have to nip the cuticle at all. If that is not, it's not a bit, it's a technique. So you need to use the Russian manicure drill bit set and follow all the steps so that way you don't have to nip. But there are some occasions where you have to nip no matter what. I'm one of those. So even if you didn't want to nip, sometimes you have to go in and nip. So you just have to tailor the service to everyone to make sure that it is um, what you need to do for that particular situation. Does that make sense? Octavina loves the music. Oh, thank you, Octavina. She's also in the Netherlands. Is she? I need to go back to the Netherlands because there's a theme park I want to visit there. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Suzette says hello from South Africa. Hi, from South Africa. She says your work is truly amazing. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Press down firmly. Oh. I love the oval shape, you guys. It is so beautiful. It's actually really popular in Japan, too. Oval really? and round are super popular there. Um... Jordan says, Saludos, Honduras. Saludos, Honduras. Wendy Hammer says, Hi. Hi, Wendy. Katarina says, 
I just love all my one, two, three goals stuff. I want to do my nails every week. I have to stop myself. <laughs> you probably can soon when we launch the um, uh, peel off base coat. Oh my god. Oh, oh. The noise says I'm named after my mom. Ooh. Her name is Sean. Pronounced Sean. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll get it right. Jones is her maiden name. And Cynthia Yardle is my dad's last name. Wow. What ethnic background is that? I don't know. Maybe she'll tell us. Well, it's just two more. Sicilian. Oh. Hmm. Wow. It's a beautiful name. Uh, Allison says, I'm going to take a nail course here in uh, Saskatoon. 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 That's a hard one to say, huh? It, it, any... ABC is for me. I want perfect. She wants to perfect the art. You're gonna love it. Congratulations. There was one town in um, Scotland when I was there that's really hard to say. It's pronounced Telecuchery. Really? Just how it sounds. Wow. Telecuchery. Scotland pretty. Um. It's beautiful. Very hilly. Very green. Uh -huh. Very hilly. Is it a lot of water? Uh, no, not necessarily. Lorraine but it is an island, mm -hmm. and we did visit Loch Ness. Oh, wow. Did you see Nessie? No, I wish. <laughs> but it's more like a tourist spot now, I but know. there are other locks. I think, what's the other one? Loch Nome? Mm -hmm. There's quite a few locks, which are basically just giant um, bodies of water surrounded by hills. Mm -hmm. that movie, um, P.S. I Love You, with Lloyd, Swank, and Jennifer Butler, isn't that where they went? It's Scotland. I don't know. And then Braveheart is in Scotland, too. Yeah. I went to, uh, what was his name? Or the Little Vampires, or this one there? I'm not sure. But I know they were filming uh, pizza, parts of the new Batman movie in Scotland. In Scotland, yeah. Uh, Lorraine says when you're coming to Dublin, she would love to um, do one of your classes. I don't have any plans to go to the UK yet or Ireland. Really? Mm -mm. But I do love me a good Irish accent, especially a thick one. Ah, we got somebody from Wichita, Kansas. Hi, Lorraine from Wichita. Says. Um, Marlene says she likes Oval too. Just ordered them for second time you're gonna love it check out the round too that's another beautiful shape it is oh Shinoi says her mom is black and her dad is Sicilian wow Thank you. Well, that's a really cool mix isn't it yeah awesome Lucy Frank the eagle is joining oh, us Ooh, Lucy has the cheese me. Yes. Here's your technique for removal. Do you have a video for that? Yes, for you cheese. file the nail down as thin as possible, and then you apply remover magic, leave it on for 10 minutes, and then use the cuticle pusher and scrape off the nail. Or you can just soak them in straight acetone and leave it there for about 20 minutes. It's, uh, since that says your work is art. And oh, I thank you. Be as good as you. Oh, that's so nice. You can. All you need is enocouture.com products. Okay, let's bake that, Barbara. For one minute inside the Dazzling Darling Lamp. Ooh, Barbara, I can see you dancing like this, like the Dominican girls. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I meant to say, does he have any advice for me when I start? Oh, start what? When she starts doing... Shaking it on the pole? No. <laughs> She starts doing nails. Um, <laughs> I knew, I knew, uh, use enocouture.com products. That's the best one. I have to say, their products are. are it really makes such really a really huge good. difference. A huge, huge difference. You know, and and I notice the difference. From, you know, because you do my nails, and I have to go elsewhere to get my pedicure. Mm -hmm. And the products that she uses, they don't buy yours. I keep trying to tell them. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, <laughs> there's a difference. And then some. There is the Chummy Lane who watches Max as well. But we are definitely different people. Ah! I hear you, Chinoy. Oh, it was Chinoy and Chummy Lane. It's two people. I'm yeah, confused. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. My apologies. So we're going to use the 180 grit file. Gosh, I just had a blonde moment. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Clarissa, you need to stop. Right. Clarissa said, so excited you mentioned me. That just made my day. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for watching. Any advice on entering 
nail Olympia for the first time? Um, have fun. Ah, Enjoy it. Here we go. You need to get that sorted ASAP. Always welcome, said Lorraine. And go into it without any expectation. Ciao tutti! Council Bluffs, Iowa? You want to know something? What? I went there. Really? One time. Yeah. I had a client that was in Council Bluffs, Iowa. Where is that? Um, in Iowa? It was, it was in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I had to take this little prop jobby thing that was eight people it seats enough for eight people. Wow. The pilot was right there. You could hear I everything on the plane? Out. I was freaked out. You went to go visit an attorney out there? Yeah. There, you know, we don't realize how big our country is and how many beautiful things there are to see. Like, I heard, like, Alabama has so many beautiful places and, and um, Montgomery. like, Montgomery and all that, that really old school European architecture and just beautiful places, beautiful. Mm -hmm. And so much history, too. Oh, so much history. Oh, Octavina says Holland is a, is is on lockdown at nail hair and beauty salons are short down. But she says she missed doing that. I can imagine. Well, you know what? A lot of people are selling press-ons now. That's what? a big thing that's become here in the U.S. is they're selling custom-made press-ons. So maybe that's something you can look into. You mean you do them and then you sell them to them? Uh -huh, they just apply them with the glue. I mean, you just oh. Of course, they're not going to last as long, but you know. No, it, they're not. It keeps but people from going through withdrawals. Exactly. Thank you. I love your products. My customers are in awe, says Patricia. Oh, thank you. So now we're going to begin the blending of the phalange. I'm going to use the pink carrot bit. Is that somebody from Barnabelle, the Netherlands? Oh, what did she say? Oh, okay. Are you going to go to Scotland next? Or are you to I don't have any plans, no. We're using, hey, what are you doing now? We're using the pink carrot bit to go in and blend. My nails are about four centimeters long. I've had my one, two, three, go on since November. Wow. wow. That's Lucy. <laughs> Lucy's crazy. Mm -hmm. She's like, I need some new long stripper nails for Lucy Acapulco. Lucy she needs a kit. Max, huh? send me a one, two, three, go kit. <laughs> That's an acetone. <laughs> She's like, I need to soak these phalanges off and snatch them up again. We're going to use a mixer bit to go in and really blend, blend, blend. Good afternoon to everyone. Good afternoon. Go and blend, 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 blend. And with the mixer bit, you don't have to worry about um, breaking the skin because this bit is extra, extra fine. And it'll just really gently go in and almost massage the cuticle. That's why I go in with my finger too, to make sure that there is no part of the nail that is touching the skin. Mm that's a that's a pro trick. That's a very advanced technique, but it leaves a more beautiful finish and also a longer lasting application. Aloha from Hawaii. Hi, we were just talking about Hawaii. That's yes, Barbara's favorite place. Lucy says I need my Acapulco like extravaganza nails. Nothing but extreme square XXL. And her relaxer in her hair to make sure it's really straight. No frizz in her life. The laser bit is no joke. Yes, I love the laser bit too. Beautiful. So now I'm going to use the buffer, remove the shine off the entire nail. Elaine says it's 9.37 in the UK. Oh my gosh. Oh, Sue Cook. Hi, Sue. And she says, sorry, Lucy, and hi, Antonia.
The great thing about this buffer is it's really, really fine, so you don't have to worry about taking down too much product. We're just Ooh, removing the shine. Aruba in the house. Aruba? Aruba? That's somewhere I really want to visit, too. Have you been to Aruba, Barbara, yet? I have not. No, I'm only, only island is... Hawaii? Hawaii. <laughs> Marissa, do you know what island the Disney Resort is on? In Hawaii? Yes, they have a resort. It's called Lalani, isn't it? Really? Mm-hmm. It's all-inclusive, too. I don't know what that means. All-inclusive? Mm -hmm. No, all-inclusive means like it's everything's there. The hotel, the... Food, the everything. Restaurants, everything's there. Not all-inclusive, so like people. <laughs> <laughs> if you got the, money, got the money, honey. I got the time if you got the money. <sighs> no, but it's an all-inclusive resort. It means like all your food is there, your entertainment. You don't have to leave, basically. Yeah. Max, uh, Lu, uh, Sue Cook says, Max, please tell me to peel off if the peel off is going to be on the website team. Uh, where my nails fit, but have to peel off for. Um, it'll be within the next two months, I think. Oh, next two months? Yes. Okay, hang in there, Sue. Next two months. We're just waiting on the bottles so we can fill them up. <laughs> Lucy Frank says. Before Aruba, I need Dr. Perez for sure. Oof. <laughs> then she'll really be ready. She's not coming back after that one. Mm -hmm. Shinoa, uh, Shinoa is on Oahu. Oh, it's on Oahu. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Have you been to that island, Barbara? Yes. In the bikini covered in coconut oil? Ooh. You know what? Sue has a good suggestion. What? Sue will fly us in Hawaii. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Barbara's like, I already got one foot on the plane. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> if you're going to Hawaii, I'll take a class. Is Hawaii open right now, though? I don't know. I've been surprised. I Who think you have to quarantine when you go into Hawaii. Or Alaska. I would love to do one in Alaska. <laughs> Lucy said Dr. Perez for, for, for success. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, have you been to Alaska? No, that's one place I really want to visit. Your sister lived there, I remember you told yeah, me. for years. And I went up there for my one sister's wedding. Mm -hmm. My sister that's 10 years from living me. Mm -hmm. Got married in uh, Alaska, Anchorage. Anyway, oh my gosh, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I really want to visit Alaska, not only because it's the last frontier, but I also heard they have a great sense of patriotism there, which I like. Yeah, and the, it, you know, that could be a place for you to take your business too, because you don't have to pay any taxes. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Can you imagine shipping? <laughs> Jeez, it'd be like $100 just, as, well, no, because that priority mail is pretty much the same price everywhere, yeah. but FedEx and all those other yeah. ones would be. Well, I don't know. Anyway, um, uh, when I was at my sister's house, she used to have this big moose. Oh my gosh. This thing was, okay, the antlers went to your ceiling. Look at your Wow. Ceiling, get that massive? Like a dinosaur. It was, it was tall and the antlers were, it used to come to her backyard every day. Wow. And she said, well, just wait, just sit here. And I didn't know why she was kind of asking me to sit there. Mm -hmm. She said, just sit here and look out the window. This was when I got there. And sure enough, she said, she said, just wait, it'll be a couple of minutes. And that moose will come to her, come it, come up to her backyard. Like clockwork. Every day, same time. Are, are they gentle creatures? I don't know that thing was you. <laughs> it sounds like a rhinoceros or something like that that it big. Was, it was so tall and the antlers, you know, it, so it's a male. They had big, big, those antlers were big. So I would say that it was about uh, eight feet tall. Oh my god. At least, if not nine. That is, it was huge. That's it intimidating. Was because it was just so big. It's like you're living in a zoo. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, they are not, um, they're not quarantined. Where, Alaska or Hawaii? Hawaii. I know to go to New York, you have to quarantine. That black silk pigment, one coat. Yeah, it is, Lucy. It's awesome. Mm. 
Okay, let's bake that for one minute, my dear. Carefully put my hand in there. I'm going to use Space Galaxy Kitty number 28. I would love to visit Alaska, but I would have to be maybe... Maybe early summer. I think it would be nice. It would be. I think it would be beautiful weather. Yeah. But I think they have really big mosquitoes, don't they? They have huge mosquitoes. Oh. They their mosquitoes are so big that. Well, just imagine they look like the stuff from like Jurassic Park. Uh huh. You know, you can buy um, a mosquito in a glass. That's how big they are. You know, yeah, they, they're huge. I have one, and I have a. a what else do I have? I don't know. Something else. Oh, well, I don't want to say this. This is dumb. <laughs> anyway, but um, but they're huge. They're huge. When I was there, it was um, beginning of September. Mm -hmm. So they weren't. I didn't see any. It wasn't that bad. No, and when I went to. Mm -hmm. Now that's a must. You must do that if you go there. Let me see that picture really quickly just to see what's with it. So it's going to be the opposite. Okay. And um, I just had on, I think I had on a turtleneck. You didn't have your fur on that day, Barbara? Oh, no. mm -hmm. I didn't even eat it. It wasn't that I cold. I took a coat. I took two um, um, season coats. I took a winter coat and I took a fall coat. And I only used my fall coat. So it was pretty nice weather then. Like Florida in January. I think if I were to do something in Hawaii, it would have to be like winter. So it's not super hot or humid. No, you go with the time when I went, it was perfect. When's that? In the beginning of September. Oh, so like um, the beginning of fall? Yeah. It was beautiful. I would imagine the summers are just packed. Oh, Sue said that's stunning. Wow. Yeah, you're right, Lucy Frank. It is 28. Um, Lucy, you ready to go to Hawaii? <laughs> oh, and there's so much history in Hawaii, too. Well, there there, I almost feel like we don't really pay attention to any of the history in Hawaii, but I mean, we used to have a king and queen. And the queen was the one that sold Hawaii to save her people because it was so poverty, uh, po poverty stricken. Yes. <laughs> I want to say famine, but I think they did have a famine or something like that. Her people didn't have anything to eat. Look at that. Wow. That's beautiful. Hey, just a phone. What's the goal you're putting on, Angela? Space Galaxy Kitty number 28. Oh, Guam, Barbara, that's another place we can go. Really? Yeah, let's go to Guam. We can really? stay with, I know some people in uh, Yigo. Do you? Marissa's uh, family in law. Hmm. Beautiful. Let's bake that for one minute, you guys. Oh, that's gorgeous. How do you get it to go one direction or another? Just the way you hold the magnet, so if you want it to go. This way, you hold it like this. If you want it in the opposite direction, you just hold it in the opposite direction. Huh. And we're going to bake that. Actually, 30 seconds is okay because we're going to do the final coat for one minute. So I just change the timer on the Dazzling Darling lamp. Oh, and I really want to have um, McDonald's in Hawaii because they have things that we don't have here. Is that a dark brown face or black? It's black. black. You can use dark brown, uh, dark brown, you can use navy blue, you can use dark red, purple, any color you want, but I personally just like black because it's more of a contrast. The darker the, the base, the more the contrast. Navy blue, that's so unique. Like a Bud Light blue. And then one nice even coat of shiny. Navy? Huh? Is it a true navy? It would have to be a really dark blue for the yeah, effects to look really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, Yvette says, hey, from Tucson. Hi, from Tucson. Wait a minute. Is that Yvette? Is that... I know. <laughs> I don't know. Which Yvette is it? I don't know. Yvette. Do you know Barbara Mosley? I think that is her. Mm 
make sure we get all the edges so that way nothing chips. Under red chicken. Melanie McCray is an amazing one coke black. The best I've tried so far. Let's bake that for one minute. And then after that it's done baking, I like to take the buffer with the extra fine side, which is the 180, and just go in and make sure that there's no uh, sharp edges or anything like that, or any little hangies or anything like that, so that way it doesn't get tangled in any bundles. Uh oh. Let me see. What'd you do to it, Barbara? Oh, that's okay. That'll be an easy fix. Oh, really? It looks like a little piece of gel. Mm. Was the food really good in Hawaii, Barbara? Um, it was good, but it wasn't really good. No, well, usually resort food is not that good. Well, you know, I wasn't. I didn't do the resort thing. I just take that. You know, when I, every time I've gone, it's except for the first time I went. Every other time I've gone, it's been over the, you know, winter break. Mm -hmm. And so you have to book through an agency. Mm -hmm. You can't get there any other way. And, um, you know, and they book all that stuff for you to do. I didn't do any of that stuff. I don't do any of the tourist stuff. Like luau's you know, and things like that? Well, I did a luau, but... Um, you know, they book you when you book with an agency, so you book a tour basically, and mm -hmm. so they have all this schedule. ¿Cómo está? Aquí trabajando, grabando. Yeah. Un saludo. Anyway, um, they, they take, you know, oh, you go see the blowhole okay, here. Okay, let's make that 30 seconds. Right there, you do this, this. So you guys saw how easy it was to fix that thumb also too. Basically what happened was that she touched it and the gel ran and it stuck. So what I did was I took the core side of the buffer, I filed it even because I was just very, very gently resurfacing it and then applied one more coat of shiny to make sure it was dry. And then we're gonna finish of course with cotton candy cuticle oil. There we go. Take it out for me, my dear. Let's make sure it's nice and dry. Now let's do 30 more seconds. But we can put oil on this hand too. You can never have enough cuticle oil when it comes to Barbara Mosley. Can you imagine, Barbara, you with some Fantasia diamonds? Those are like, oh, cover your whole finger. I know. That would be the dream. A Melanie said she had to soak off her last bit. She said, I banged my left pinky, the nail bed lifted. Oh, Ooh. Ouch. Ready now? Yes, beautiful. Remember, wait 10 seconds and then apply your cotton candy cuticle oil. Look how it moves up and down on the nail. Isn't that dope? Um, Daisy wants to know, can you use a pink on toes? Yes, of course. Hmm. And there we have it. Look at that, you guys. shot right there beautiful no no just like that that's gonna be the screensaver oh but don't cover the number there we go perfect hold this one right there mm, right. perfect <laughs> <laughs> sometimes the nails have a mind of their own don't they well my loves that's gonna wrap it up for today's video i hope you enjoyed this demo check out all the incredible amazing american-made nail products here at enocouture.com and don't forget to take advantage of that promo code here in the u.s lunar 10 to save 10 percent off your entire purchase now through january 26th to celebrate the lunar new year i love you guys so so much and i'll see you in the next one bye, bye.